All right, now let us learn how to find and modify catalog items. To do this, we should upgrade our form. Add a new page to the form, name it Update Page, then add form attribute code for search with data type string and attribute description for update with data type string as shown below. We need code for search to search for catalog items by standard attribute code. We intend to enter a value for this attribute in the form as we search. At that, we need attribute description for update for users to see the current description and modify it if needed. Add the attributes to the form and create two commands, search and update with handlers on the client and the server. Let's show you how we can search for our item using a code value. As before, we're going to use the catalog manager. Access our catalog staff and apply method find by code to search by code. Then we take the code value entered by a user in the form and pass it to the method. Note that there is a great variety of search methods and parameters. You can learn more about them from the syntax assistant. This method returns a reference to a specific item in catalog staff. With this reference, we can view the item. Let us find out what the syntax assistant has to say about method find by code. And thus you can see that the platform returns an empty reference if it fails to find the specified code. Thus, we check if the returned reference is empty. If so, we use return to terminate the procedure. On successful search, we place found name to the form attribute. And here's how it works in 1C Enterprise mode. Indeed, the platform has found the item that we searched for. Let's check what happens if we enter the wrong code. The platform discovers an empty reference and returns the respective message. Now, let me show you how we can change catalog items. So let's sum it up. We apply the reference obtained in the result of the search to method getObject to acquire the matching data object. As we know, to make changes and add a record, we need an object itself. We can change the text right within the line containing the search result. And finally, we save the object. It's time to switch to 1C Enterprise mode and see what happens. Find the object we need with command search. Modify the name as we need a click button and to click button update. Check catalog staff to see what happens. Indeed, the name has changed. Let us expand the block diagram from the previous part. We're adding a reference to a catalog data object. Using the reference, we get data to read. Note that we can get an object, object, using matching reference ref, and vice versa. Using an object, we can get a matching reference. Now we know how to work with data objects using program code. A similar approach applies to all configuration objects. First, we access any object with the object manager, and then pick a suitable solution from the syntax assistant.